Business analytics in essence is uh, talking about how do you use data, how do you use IT and how would you use conceptual layer in business logic to understand how a problem would be resolved. Right? So that in a nutshell would say that this is business analytics. Now you can refer to this as business analytics if you make it a little bit longer with some experience nudged into it, it would be called as data science. Right? So that in essence would be all about business analytics. So I wouldn't restrict this field of study to a specific domain. Not that an engineer should only do it, not that a BSc guy should only do it, not that somebody who has come from a BCom background or a commerce background should do it. In fact, it can be done by anybody. I've had students who have come from music, from the music industry, saying that they like creativity, right? So if you say that there is creativity in music, the same exists in data patterns also. So it doesn't restrict us, so anybody can learn it. Right? The only thing is that, do you have uh, the interest in you? Do you want to use it for your domain? Right. So the application is varied. It can be applied in pharma, it can be applied in manufacturing, consulting, any domain you talk about it, it is applicable. The one important attribute a person should have is his interest in learning. Right. So you should be somebody who is ready to learn. So I wouldn't say, although analytics is a complicated subject, no doubt about that, but I wouldn't say that you should restrict yourself by saying that I don't know IT, I don't know statistics, I don't understand anything about business, so I shouldn't be stepping into this. No, I wouldn't say that is what stops you. What stops you is whether you are ready to learn or not ready to learn. Right. You should be able to adapt, you should be ready to let, learn you should be able to be agile and understand it. Right? So that is the only thing which is required in a student to learn analytics. Uh, the course structure is with an assumption that a person doesn't know IT, doesn't understand statistics and has never dealt with business case study situations. Right? That's the assumption. Right? Eventually people come with one strong background, like somebody might be from an IT field, as another person might be from a stats field, somebody might just be into sales and marketing and he doesn't know anything about statistics or IT, right? But we can groom this person up to a limit which is expected from the course, right? It's an advantage if you know something, but that doesn't stop you from becoming a resource in business analytics. Right? That's how you would see it, right? So nothing is stopping you, there is no barrier. You just have an advantage. In fact, it makes more sense for a student to learn it. The reason being that we know that this subject, this notion of analytics is obviously coming from the West. There in essence, 80 to 90% of the work is done using analytics. We over here do our jobs by our gut feeling. Right now, corporates and vice presidents of major companies, they have started thinking that yes, we want to incorporate analytics in every decision we make. A person who is just graduating, maybe doing his engineering college course, or maybe he's doing his BSc course or BCom course, or maybe even an arts course, it makes more sense for him to learn this. For a fresher, it means that he's getting an edge over existing candidates within his college premise because he knows analytics and others don't know. And frankly speaking today, most of the engineering colleges and all these guys have started grooming their candidates on some aspect of analytics. But the only thing is that it's restricted because of the curriculum which they can be exposed to. It's more, more of theory and less of practical. A typical data analyst in the US culture would typically mean a data scientist, a short version of a data scientist whose job would be to read patterns into data. Nevertheless, it doesn't mean that he wouldn't be working with data. He would start from scratch, from extracting data, cleaning the data, reading patterns out of that, making sense out of that pattern, and trying to put up a case in front of business. So if I have to look at a data scientist specific job description in the Indian market per se, it would talk about right from creating a requirement for analytics. 
right? Because today the market doesn't see a requirement for analytics. So you might have a company which is into retail, which doesn't think about doing campaign based on the customer's buying pattern, but just as a campaign which is blanket. I would want to customize this according to the requirement of the customer. So it's a win-win situation for the company as well as for the customer. In this case, analytics would help. The data scientist can be of great help to the company to reduce the cost of marketing, increase the efficiency of marketing, and this applies in every domain, marketing, sales, HR. Right? So going forward, we can see an application wherein a data scientist would be working along with the HR team to actually analyze which set of employees should be retained for a longer period of time. Right? So this would be some typical things which a data scientist would be doing for the company. Okay, now if you look at a fresher's perspective, right? First, if he does some course which is about data science or about business analytics, it gives him an edge. Right? Today companies, when they are recruiting for a marketing professional, also would expect that the candidate should know about analytics. Right? Today, if a company which is in retail is looking at customer analytics, they would obviously expect a guy who knows about marketing, sales, plus analytics. They don't want a person who just knows one domain. Right? So it's imperative that you will have to add up all the skills. So do you see any cricketer today who can say that I can only bowl? No. Today we expect that a player should know bowling, batting, fielding, everything which can be done on the field. So that is a data scientist. He can do excellent presentations. He can talk in front of a big crowd. He can work with codes. He can work with data. He understands database. It's not that he will manage the database, but he is in a situation to guide a database administrator also as to how the database should be for him to work in his favor. So that's about the skill set level. Now from the freshers perspective, obviously, the first job would not be a very high paying job, but it will be reasonable somewhere around 4 lakhs to 5 lakhs. That, that's what you can expect if he's not from a very A grade college, right? Obviously, if you are from an IIT or something like that, or from an IAM, it gives you an edge. It's because of the college brand. Now, initially, you will have to work with a lot of data. So you will have to work with data, you will have to extract data, do all the preparation work on the data, and present your reports. Later on, as you accumulate more knowledge, you might get some more additional knowledge about how databases work. So today we are talking only about Oracle. A data scientist might talk about NoSQL, Hadoop and all those things. So he will enrich himself. He will be an asset to the company. And that is what a data scientist is about. Right? And that is what separates him. And that is where he creates value for himself. I wouldn't quote it to be the next big thing to happen because the next blip or the boom usually is followed by a drop, right? So this is not going to be followed by a drop. This is there to sustain itself for a longer period of time. The names might change. We might see some more innovation, right? We are adapting, right? And we will be adapting more, right? Similarly, as we go forward, analytics will be a common thing. And obviously, if it is becoming a common thing, it's not just a boom, it's there for staying for a longer period of time. I would recommend students to take up a course like this, irrespective of whether they see a, a career for themselves in analytics or not. The reason being that going forward, no matter what domain you're working in, analytics will come in play. It will cross path with you, right? And at that point in time, if you don't know about it, it's a problem. Someone should come to IMS Pro School because it has a holistic approach. Uh, there is a lot of content depth. Uh, a lot of research has been done before the course has been launched. It is followed by a strong examination path, so which makes sure that the student or the participant has thoroughly understood the subject. So we have the NSE certification which comes with this. So when you clear that, it's an indication that yes, you are ready for the industry. Along with that, when you are uh, taking this course with IMS Pro School, you are doing a practical mix 
of application along with the theoretical content which is taught in the class right and this gives you an edge over others today when i see a critical combination of uh, something which is creative and analytical is nothing but a data scientist so here we are